When Facebook became meta on October 28, 2021, it was assumed that the company was doing great, breaking in billions and being the vanguard of technology and innovation like it always has. Except that hasn't really been the case. In February 2022, Facebook, or as Mark Zuckerberg wanted it to be, Meta, delivered a very disturbing earnings report to Wall Street. The company had lost a whopping $250 billion in one day, an astonishing 26% drop in the company's value. It appears that the money-making ad machine is not quite as well-oiled as it used to be. So why the name change? Is it an innocent business move like we think? Or is there a deeper, more desperate reason behind it? My name is CJ, and this is the story of how Meta came to be. Our company is now Meta. To Meta. He says it's more in line with the tech giant's virtual reality vision for the future. But skeptics say the rebrand is also an attempt to forget the scandals that have cast a shadow. When you hear Facebook, you automatically think of the social media platform that every ad marketer needs to go to pitch their tent. The first thing that comes to your mind isn't just Facebook, the parent company, but of multiple social media platforms like WhatsApp and Instagram. But if you look at the youth today, you'll notice that most of them don't really use Facebook anymore, and the number of Facebook users average age is increasing year over year. This in addition to vicious competition on Facebook, was becoming a problem. Facebook was becoming a prisoner to its own product. That was the main reason why Mark and his team of genius engineers decided to explore the Web3, known also as the Metaverse. The Metaverse, if you were wondering, is a network of virtual reality and augmented reality technology where people can interact the same way they do in the physical world. The COVID-19 lockdown showed the world that there's a vacuum in our internet usage that needs to be filled with something other than Zoom meetings and FaceTime, which was what Meta said they would offer. Chilling at a bar with your friends, holding a meeting, attending lectures, it can all be done in a setting that imitates real life. Zuckerberg hoped that the new Meta would echo this revolutionary idea because although Web3 is in its infant stages, the world is heading there and it's getting increasingly realistic to have a world where people can experience almost anything right from the comfort of their homes. Also, Zuckerberg does not want Meta to be known as just a social media platform, but Facebook, the social media company, was working just fine. Why did Zuckerberg need it to be something else? The truth is, Facebook wasn't working quite so well. Not since Apple threw a wrench in its gears. In 2020, Facebook made $29 billion in profit, way higher than Wall Street's prediction. And then came Apple's decision to give the iPhone users the option of telling app marketers not to track them all over the internet. More privacy and security for the users, but a huge roadblock for Facebook, whose strongest business model is based on gathering users' data and using it to sell them things. The changes meant that Facebook's ad targeting is less accurate because it has less information about its users. So Facebook advertisers have to pay more to reach the iPhone people who make up a large chunk of their audience. But you know what? It also means that for Facebook, an estimated $10 billion loss in revenue for 2022. According to financial analyst Michael Nathanson, Facebook's ad business is likely to grow by only 12% in 2022, a far cry from its 36% growth in 2021. Facebook's way of dealing with Apple's anti-tracking changes has been to launch what it's called an aggregate event measurement. So advertisers may no longer be able to see which individual clicked what link, but they'll get information on what a larger group of users do. Facebook also renewed efforts to sell products on their apps, not just an extension of existing platforms like Facebook Marketplace, but new digital shops on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is doing everything it can to work around Apple's restrictions because, in reality, user information is Facebook's major asset. So what does the metaverse have to do with all of this? We'll explain it in a bit. But before then, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because we'll be going into deeper, darker business, crypto, and money stories in the future. So why Web3? You must understand that Facebook is not alone in seeking dominance in the metaverse. Google's parent company, Alphabet, has also explored the many wonders of Web3 and the metaverse. Leading sports brands like Nike and Adidas are there as well. And when you consider the hype the metaverse has gotten recently, it appears as though the metaverse is inevitable. Maybe it is, and maybe it'll crash in the next few years. But if the metaverse is really where we are headed, then Zuckerberg 
is probably not wrong in dropping billions of dollars into that space. Instead of becoming a contender within the metaverse, what if Facebook became the metaverse? So what does Facebook's move to Web3 mean for you? Facebook has a track record of harvesting user data for whatever suits them, which has given it a lot of bad press in the past. But make no mistake, it's a vast enterprise that is here to stay, at least for the foreseeable future. Right now, Facebook's data can only be connected when you're on your phone. And you only use your phone as a portal to access the internet. But in the metaverse, you're going to be working every day with your coworkers with a VR headset. You're going to be playing video games and you're going to be connecting with new people. And all those tiny movements are data points about how you choose to live your life in Web3. And what Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg wants is to access all of that data so they can target you with digital goods, digital items, and digital ads that fit perfectly in your day-to-day -day virtual life. At this stage in the company's life, Zuckerberg is desperate to dominate the metaverse and sell things to people there. If Facebook is already using your information the way it does while you're still on Earth, then maybe you should be a bit cautious about partaking in its metaverse if you care about your privacy. Speaking of privacy, do you know who the mysterious person who can take down Bitcoin is? Click on the next video to find out.